from Japan is favored highly in this match. Absolutely. I mean, they only lost by just one stock to a team currently sitting in winner side grounds. Yeah, and actually, this, uh, okay, so this, right, this is not a run back. But earlier in Racket, we did see Fukuro and, and Kiyoshiki play Cobra and Karakuro. Mm -hmm. And uh, from what I remember, they were looking pretty hot. I'd say so. So given how close the, the game was, uh, Brody Bunch against uh, Cobra and Karo, I would be I would sort of expect to see similar results. That said, Whoa. Blue Team is looking good out of the yeah, game. Yeah, and that's part of the dark. Yeah, I'd say they've been looking very good. Yeah, so they, I, they, they want to close out this stock um, at Q-Shit, or at least keep them farther away while they build up the damage on Fukuro, or both! Exactly. <laughs> Why not both? That, that, that's been a very good game plan that they've been able to execute. They've been able to keep them separated, they've been able to have a double edge guard or 2v1 so one of them comes back. I think that team back there was a good was a good option. It got them out of the, the danger zone. Oh, double edge guard going on. Oh, amazing angle yeah, from uh, Brody there. And I really liked that uh, that just hover by Dark Horse, because that was interference. He was threatening and covering for Josh's recovery. Definitely. Oh, that, that was actually very close to surviving. Oh, oh man. The, yeah, the down air trades, and it calls him the stock. Yeah. So we have even stock counts? No, we don't. No, we don't. Yeah, we, we still have very good. blue team hanging on to a lead, and they are going fast. Yeah. They are dancing. <laughs> The back there. Do we get the connection? Yes, oh, we get the extended. team combo, but from uh, the other team. Yeah, exactly. The uh, extended hitbox connects with one, keeps the hitbox out for longer. Oh, almost from uh, like, got the right read, but couldn't quite connect the hitbox. Yeah, man. Blue team is just really able to. Uh oh, reverse edge guard. Has just really been able to say all the red team's real, and they haven't been able to give red team a, a chance to get into the game plan running. And you know what occurs to me is that they've been playing really close. They've been staying right on top of each other. They've, yeah. been, they've been making it hard for Red Team to do things safely. Did so, you see that up air save by Brody? Uh, Dark Horse was back thrown, and that would have killed, but perfect timing on that up air to intercept and save his brother. And, and the thing is, what I'm seeing is that Dark Horse and Brody have been playing a team attack on game. Yes, absolutely. And they have really been showcasing how you can work that to your advantage. Oh, so great it, combo. It would be very interesting to me if that really ends oh, up being... That was so unfortunate. I don't think that's... Yeah, an amazing that. combo, but then gets it stolen. Oh, and all that damage for nothing. Yeah, uh, the Brody Punch got very lucky with that. Instead of losing a stock, they gained... Or yeah, they the other team. Uh-huh. So while blue team has been looking good, red team has been managing to put the socks away when it counts. So this is still a close game. Yeah, but okay, blue now team, it's not so close. I honestly think blue team has been playing incredible. They they have been on fire this game. It's definitely true. Right right <laughs> out of the gate, they were firing on all cylinders, and they have not kept, uh, taken their foot off the gas. Yeah, I know. I mean, that one stock was definitely lucky. Um, caused a big momentum shift, but they were playing yeah, really high. They were playing the so hot before that as well. Like, it's not oh, like yeah. it destroyed their... Mo uh, it, it's not like it um, you know, totally changed the game. It just kept it more going in their yeah. favor. Team oh my god. And, and you can see that Team Japan is sort of laughing it off. They're gonna come back. And we I, see Fukuro I, with the classic switch. I think that that's an appropriate decision. Absolutely. So I think that Team Japan is going to try to slow it down. That's part of what the, the Kirby Switch is, is about. Yeah, and immediately we see the battle for aerial supremacy. Yeah. Whoever's uh, gonna be above, which Kirby's above, we'll see. And like right wow. there, Fukuro was on top. But uh, Brody came in with a great save. Oh! But it doesn't matter because he's dead for it. Yeah, Kiyushka with a really good... Uh, just reverse edge guard there, or just edge guard from the main stage. Force that overextension and punish it. Nice. Very well placed down. So, and it looks like new team is is keeping, keeping it, it up. Yeah. They're they're not letting up. They are pressuring hard, and they are pressuring close. Wow! Really great from Dark Horse closing that stock out. Yeah, they've they've just done such an incredible job. Oh, of, of always covering the options that the other one doesn't take. 
And look at that. The Josh SD Brody is still into alive. a great edge guard. Oh my god. This momentum is crazy. I didn't expect this. I definitely did not expect this. I, I, I said, it seemed to me like Team Japan was highly favored. Yeah, I'd say so too. Yeah, but they, uh, They're starting to bring it back. They're starting to pull it together. They've been managing uh, to, to separate blue team. They haven't been letting them get their tight uh, team play up. And there's Brody trying to go in. And it does manage to open up Fuka. Yeah. I mean, currently, uh, the Brody Bunch is only up one stock. But this doesn't mean it was a habit for long. Because that's pushing the lead even more. Man. Oh, that was amazing the answer that quick there. Just did not die. Red team has a definitely a comeback that they need to make. Yeah, they we haven't seen we haven't seen the trademark Japanese adjustment. No, not yet. And that could be not necessarily on Team Japan, but on uh, Team Baltimore from just keeping something really strong that they can't really intercept. Yeah, that's it. Team Japan oh. has been holding on to these three stocks for a long time. They exactly. brought it back to an even stock count. Kiyoshi is looking uh He's looking pretty right there, sitting at 100%. He's playing great neutral, not yeah. overcommitting. He, he has managed to hold on to that stock for a long time. Yeah. That'll do it. 81, very nice number. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely make or break. I'd say in the set. Because 2-0 and 1-1 are totally different outcomes. I, I'm inclined to agree. If, if Japan goes down one game here, or goes down two, two games here, it's going to be much harder. A real climb. But the thing is, if they t if they go down by two and then they win game three, I don't think they have bad odds. In all honesty, because in my mind that means they figured something out. They could probably ride that a long way. Sure, I, I just that, say that, that that team hit on team on blue team on blue? might actually make the difference. Cost them the game. Right, because that edge guard right there Brody was, needs was to a save direct him. result of it. Just like. Oh! Yeah, so, like, that edge guard right there was a direct result of the team hit. But now but, we're in a 1v1. But it's Josh Brody versus Kiyoshki. And I don't know. I honestly might favor Josh Brody here. You think so? Honestly, yeah. In the Pika Ditto? Kiyoshki's just su such a strong player. I can't count him out. Uh, no, I'm not saying to count him out, but I, I, I don't know. Again, he just has good mix-ups. Oh, you're... Kiyoshke is playing really strong fundamental base though. Yeah, that's that's what he's got. He's he's one of the best players in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I wouldn't count uh, Brody out of this. He's definitely still in it. He ain't dead yet. Where there's a will, there's a way. Of course. Oh! Just missed time that forward tilt. Yeah, he had the right read. Yeah, he did. Oh no. Oh. And also then just missed time that in order to stop the zip zap. Gonna be. Oh, a lot of neutral. This has been last hit wins for like a minute. Oh, good fastball on the zip zap. That's the mix up you were talking about. This might be it. No. Oh, almost. Okay, great, Ow. great escape to top line and then in second escape because he knew Brody was coming in hot. Yeah, this is gonna be another edge guard on Pikachu and he doesn't get the read. No, he doesn't. Both rats over 100%. <laughs> This is just one neutral loss. It's been that Before way for be it's been that way for like 120 seconds. Yeah, it has. Oh, and that will oh. do it. He hit the A button. <sighs> just a small this time. Oh my god. Wow, that and was, we're one one. Yeah, you talk about your nail biters. Oh my god, that was really hype. So Japan evens up the set count. Yeah, I, I definitely, um, I think that hurts. I think that hurts, um, just like Brody and Dark Horse's self confidence a little bit. But I, you yeah, know. True. They, they were riding the, the momentum pretty hard, and now that they don't have so much of it, they'll have to see if they can get it back. But like I, I say, yeah. that's also a sign, I think, that Red Team has, uh, has figured something out. Yeah, I, was, I was literally about to say that part of the reason why it was so close is it's uh, momentum versus adaptation. In that last game. So now we'll see what the storyline ends up being. Yes. Do uh, Brody and Dark, you know, rally back and say, you know what, we shouldn't have lost that game. There were small things that we know how to fix. Or are they just going to be a little bit focused on the past? Tech chase? Yeah. In this game, the way it's been going, I'd be surprised if they got hung up on the past. It's just a question of whether or not they can make the adjustment they need to. True. 
because I don't think they're going to stop firing on all cylinders. Oh, really smart. Oh! Yeah, and he's going That was so good. It. That was so good from Dark Horse. That was exactly what he needed to do. That was the right time to take the trade. Yeah. I mean, Kyushka down to two stocks. Yeah, even, even stock count between teams. Man, these two players, well, all four of these players are yeah. really just great at some, uh, at uh, this doubles awareness. Are we going to see another one? But I'm Shoot loving Kyushka. Oh, oh, that's not good. Back air from uh, Dark Horse? Okay. Fukuro is rallying. He's playing super strong, trying to keep the momentum. And he waited for that hole so his teammate could come back. Yeah, no, I mean, he's definitely That's trying to make a big difference in this game. There we go. And again, we see uh, Team Japan going for the 2 1 ones. They were, they were both operating on separate edge guards. Yeah, you know they're feeling confidence when they're really winning those double one ones. That's them running the game plan they want to. Yeah. And it's paying off. They're up five stocks to three. Okay. If they could close the stock out on um, Fukuro, they'll be even. But yeah, that's what they need. Oh no! But it looks too like good. I missed Zipsack from Brody. Yeah, Team Japan's made some definitely some major uh, adaptations. Yeah, Blue Team needs to make something happen in a big way right now if they want a chance. And given that Dark Horse is already over 100%, yeah, there, there you have and that it. Was, the yeah, yeah, superiority. <laughs> Showing Dark Horse a taste of uh, Kirby's own medicine. You did that to my team, and I'm doing it to you. Oh, I missed the pivot on that um, grab. Yeah, now, now he's in the blender. Yeah, this is really hard. And, like, for, for, for players who don't typically play with Team Attack off, they were showing some really great team spacing. Team Attack on. Yeah. I mean, it's that uh, kind of singles awareness, just knowing what the characters are capable of, mm -hmm. and just applying it in a new kind of um, spotlight. Yeah, so after game one, the Japanese team made the switch. Yeah. They made the character switch. They made the adaptation. Mm -hmm. And it's been really hard, and it's been a struggle for Blue Team since. Yeah. Very, very close game two. And it all came I down mean, to the one team hit. Extremely hyper close. Anything could have happened in game two. But I still can't get over how it was that one team hit on, on, on Blue Team. I was saying that they were playing a team attack on game, and unfortunately that was their own doing. Yeah. Good DI to Brody not to die to his teammate. Good uh, recovery from Dark Horse there, but... Uh. Blue team in an advantageous position. Yeah, he should net them Blue team is trying to turn this around. Oh, great from Dark. Hit. Oh, really smart! He got the DI! Amazing DI from Kiyushke there! Yeah, but he's not able to seal it because of that DI. But he... Yeah, he at least kept it going play. a little bit longer. Yeah. He was looking really good, but now Red, Red now she's on, on the other foot. Red keeps turning things around. Brody going in hard for the kill, and he does, he manages not to die for a little while. Yeah. So blue team down a stock. Yeah. Only one. Only one. They could come back and get the upset. We know we have it in them, but the thing is, when you fire on all cylinders for too long, it's only a matter of time before you start tilting. That's true. Yeah, Fukuro and, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah Fukuro when, and Dark Horse they... really duking it out for the aerial superiority. No, you're right. When you, um, really just feel like every, th every single move you make is just that much more serious, it really can just deteriorate your mentality, rather than just playing the good game plan. Yeah. I feel like so far blue teams managed to avoid uh, stepping into that pitfall. They're, yeah, they're, yeah red, red team is starting to pull away, especially if they clinch these couple of stocks before blue team makes any headway. Yeah, blue team's still in this, uh, for sure. Yeah, like and that, that right there is a critical importance. Now they got to deal with Kyoshi. Oh no! Oh! Okay. Man, that was really smart from uh, Team Japan. Just keep um, keep the edge guard continuous. Crazy brick. Yeah, I know. But it was also a very good reaction for Brody to zip zap out of there. Yeah, and, and he had the awareness to know that he was safe. 
Oh! Whole bunch of crazy stuff going on over there. Two stocks to five. It's a struggle for the Baltimore team. Oh, that's really... That's, that's some feel sad, man. You know, they could have kept things closed, but then just two stocks immediately lost. Yeah, it, it took Japan a little longer to adapt than they than, uh, than we've seen in some other sets. Great but, escape from uh, Yeah, but they did adapt. Okay. All right, yeah. Only one stock difference. Yeah, so... But you have to deal with his invincibility. Yes. Uh, wow. This is turning into a real grinder. Yeah. A real slobber knock. The grinder being two multi-hit moves, having all of their hits connect. Yeah, and like these. Yeah, these two particular multi-hit moves. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no. that up air ought to do it. Oh, spaced around the door. Oh, okay. All right, so now Brody has to do it on his own. It was good awareness from Team Japan there to finish that off. Yeah, last time we saw him have to do it on his own, he almost pulled it out. But that was That's only a one. Wow. Yeah, and, and after, and the thing is, this is the funny.